Laid back Mickey here. Hey, have you guys ever wanted to go off road? Do you guys like mountain bikes? Well, I'm going to talk about mountain trikes today. When you think of a mountain bike, you think, ah, I can go on the road or off the road. The same thing is with a mountain trike or an off-road trike. It's an on the road, off the road trike. So there's many different trikes you can go with that are off-road trikes. You can go with the all-terrain by Terra Trike. You can go the ice full fat, or you can go the Stein trikes, which are full suspension, have tons of movement on it so you can hit all the dips and dives in the terrain. And they're super fun. So if you like mountain biking, you're gonna like mountain triking. And so the all-terrain, it has the Schwalbe tires on it, but they're meaty on the outside with a nice little thin strip on the inside. So you could run the tire pressure high so you could go on the road and be cruising at a nice little speed, or you could lower the pressure a little bit and you could go in the mud and the dirt. On this particular trike right behind me here, it's higher, higher off the ground, higher than a conventional trike. So some trikes you go, oh, those are really low. Well, you can get the tear trike all terrain that's higher it's easier to get in and out of a lot of people get it because it's just so comfortable so it's kind of like if you think of like a suv that has four wheel drive like how many times do you usually use the four wheel drive not a lot and so the same thing goes with these all terrains and full fats a lot of people they may use them on the off-road but a lot of people use them on the road as well. Same thing goes with the Stein full suspension. They just like the full suspension because it's super comfortable because it, you know all those ruts in the rows and the, and the dips and stuff, you don't fill them really with the full suspension. Now this one behind me isn't full suspension, but with the wider tires, when you lower the pressure, it gives it that suspension feel. The nice thing about the Terratrike All-Terrain is that it doesn't cost as much as some of the other trikes. Some of the other trikes are into the, you know, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars or more, depending on all the whether you're getting full suspension, motorized, whether you're getting, you know, all the gadgets and gadgets. Uh, they can get up there quite a bit. But on the all terrain, you're talking about twenty five hundred bucks or give or take. Plus, if you get a motor, you're right around five. So it's very affordable for a nice electric off-road trike or if you just want standard hey it's a little over a couple grand all terrain's a great trike but i want to take outside the new stein trike full suspension wild one so let's go get wild outside make sure to subscribe to the laid back cycles channel for everything about trikes okay so i am on the off-road 2020 Stein wild one since we don't have a lot of off-road off-road we're going to use our curbs and stuff to simulate big old bumps around here and so i'm going to off-road in the parking lot let's check it out So in general, off-road trikes, they're going to be a little higher off the ground. They're, they're going to have a wider tire for more suspension. Some, uh, even though they have wide tires, may not have suspension like the all-terrain, but you're going to have like the full fat by ice, the Stein, these type of off-road trikes, they're going to have some nice suspension. And of all the suspensions, this one would have the most, uh, the most suspension of all of them. And then I would go full fat and then I would go down to the uh, all-terrain. All-terrain is going to be the, the cheapest because there is no suspension. Once you get into suspension, uh, the Stein is a custom made trike. So they do this by hand. And then the uh, full fat uh, is going to be over from England and uh, that's gonna have tons of options. A lot of people choose off-roading trikes because 
they may live in a lot of dirt and mud areas or gravel areas. And so they want something that is more durable, something that uh, won't hit the ground when they go over a big dip. And some people just want it for comfort. Mountain trikes have some limitations. And I would say the biggest limitation is if you've been riding a mountain bike on single track trails, which are kind of more narrow, uh, you're not gonna be able to go on those trails. You're gonna be able to go on fire roads, dirt roads. When I go into the mountains, they got some trails that are very like narrow, like, like 12 to 18 inches with a mountain on one side and a cliff on the other. You're not gonna be doing that with a trike, but you're gonna be having fun on all other different types of terrains. I have been using the new Stein trike off-road. It doesn't fit well on a single track like a regular bike, but on the gravel roads and on the fire trails, that thing just bombs down the hill and it sucks up all the dirt. It makes it like just that old mountain bike feel that I used to love. Another thing you need to know about mountain trikes is like when I was mountain biking, I would go on some pretty aggressive uh, trails. Some, they had a lot of little sharp rocks sticking out of the ground. They had sticks all around that I would ride over. And that's all and fine. You just gotta make sure you have a good tire. You gotta have thorn resistance. Maybe even put a little slime in there if you know you're gonna be doing that. But as far as maintenance goes, when you're treating, treating your trike with that type of abuse where you're going on and off the road and you're hitting ruts, you're gonna have more things break. Like on my mountain bike, I remember I used to bend wheels, brake chains, I used to get flats all the time. And so when you have an off-road trike that you truly take off-road, you wanna make sure you have an extra tube, you got your tire levers, you gotta maintain your trike. Make sure that you lube your chain, keep the proper amount of air in there, make sure that your brakes work so when you're going down that fire trail really fast that you can stop at the bottom. So there's a little bit more maintenance if you're using it truly as a mountain trike. Now if you just say, I want a trike that's, that's higher off the ground and full suspension for the comfort, just ride it and have fun on the bike trail or on your regular uh, neighborhoods. But uh, some of these can go some pretty crazy places.